Last time, we had a nice Christmas with Will. The next summer, I went to visit Will at university. I'm sorry, all these minor details, or minor differences between American and Britain. I don't know, I don't I know why, like but it's to always arrive on time. mildly It's amusing. just polite. So I had left plenty of time for the drive down to see him. They're just, there's just such pointless little differences. It's kind of weird how they're just like, well, that they exist The university at all. had a lovely mix of old and new buildings. After arriving early, I went to look at them. You know how they say university instead of, you know, the university or college. There were so many young people there, all full of life and excited about the future. Lots of beautiful girls around, and I was hoping I might spot Sarah. What's the exact difference between a university and a college? Like, a university has more stuff, right? I went to a university, not a college, but I mean, it's still college, but you know, nobody would call it a college. It's like... University wasn't a normal option for people in my time. And I never went. A solid education helps to improve a person. Though I did go to college, I honestly think college is like mandatory aspect of life. I think it's pretty bad for a lot of reasons. One, the, the student debt for one thing, and just it doesn't it no longer sets you apart in you know the job market because everybody goes. So it's just kind of mandatory debt with no benefits at this point. Well, I mean, not no benefits, but no job benefits unless, you know, you go for something very specific. Which, you know, I got a degree in uh, human computer interaction and programming. The only, you, you, I got a double major and you only get one diploma. I thought that was BS. I figured I would get two scraps of paper, but I only got one scrap of paper out of four years. Even though I did the work to achieve two, but oh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I learned things. It was nice in some ways, but um, yeah. I think a lot of what was learned there could have been moved to high school. What I wish I did, if anybody out there is planning for college and like in like mid early high school, what I wish I did, I graduated high school a year early and I went through college and did normal. Uh, I didn't really accelerate college too much. Um, what I wish I did was I spent that extra year in high school and took all the AP stuff that I could. And if possible, I would have liked to shave off a year of college, not just because of the price, um, but high school feels kind of wasteful, at least in the lower level stuff. The AP stuff is like actual learning. Everything other than that feels almost entirely pointless, especially now. Um, and most things pre high school feel like a joke in the United States. But uh, AP stuff, the AP teachers, at least in my school, were extremely good. And um, I don't know. R relationships with those teachers felt a little bit more personal somehow than a lot of the college stuff. And I wish I had taken some more of that AP stuff. I did take some AP courses. Um, I think that was part of how I graduated early. I forget exactly how I finagled all of that. But it wasn't particularly hard, at least at my high school. My high school I had this thing where you do four blocks four periods they call them instead of like seven in a homeroom and I think it was easier to get all of my credit hours in in that arrangement and we had less homework that was I don't know why th schools do the like seven or eight periods like the four period thing was so much better I saw Will anyway. before he saw me he was a short distance away and I couldn't make out what he was doing it was one of those games where I briefly forget I'm playing a game and I just think about Interesting things in real life. And like I said an episode or two ago, I actually really like that. Then I saw that he was holding hands with a man. Oh, gee moms. And then, right out in front of everyone, they kissed. Don't be nasty, gee moms. Don't be nasty about this. He went and did that after everything I had tried to teach him. I knew that all those liberal views would get him in trouble. Oh, gee, moms, no. I left right away. I didn't know what to say to him. I, I just couldn't think of anything. Will hadn't seen me. 
I simply had no idea how I could be expected to act like everything would be okay for him. He was so young to be doing that kind of thing, with his whole life ahead. Suddenly, the university seemed ugly, obscene. All that sense of entitlement, but no appreciation. Oh, gee, moms. All those petty children doing whatever they wanted, ignoring the responsibility of the freedoms my generation got for them. After everything I had done for him, he was doing that, putting himself in danger. I felt so angry with him and with everyone there. That sort of thing. It all just feels wrong to me. Sorry, but that's just the way I feel about this. I always kind of hoped that we would be the generation that stops having people, you know. I barely saw like Will that. for the next few years. I couldn't bring myself to talk to him. Considering recent events and 2016 in general, I think we'll have at least another generation of that bullcrap, unfortunately. But, uh,. I do think people are less awful these days, and I do think they're more open in good ways. But, uh... Every generation does this thing well. It does what G-Moms is doing right now. There's this sort of moment where I think they realize, oh, I'm gonna die and everybody's gonna live this way that I didn't. I don't like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw up as much of their lives as I can before I go. And, uh, yeah. It was silly of me, I suppose. That's why I've always felt that young people need to vote a lot more. Because old people always vote. And there are certain issues that I strongly disagree on the older generation with in general. There's obviously always gonna be you know, some people that are, you know, not awful, but old. And there's always going to be a lot of people that are awful, but not old. But I don't think it's possible to ignore the uh, consistent correlation there. After university, he went traveling, seeing the world. I stayed at my house. <laughs> That's rather symbolic, isn't it? Not that there's anything wrong with staying at your house, either. I just mean... Yeah. Personally, for me, best thing in the world is just being able to do what you want to do when you can do it and just be comfortable. That's... Being alone in a house really by want. yourself. I, I said my husband Robert died when Will was young, didn't I? Being alone can make you live in the past. You watch the world change without you. I know there's never, like, a completely appropriate time to pet a cat's belly. If you continue petting, they will always eventually go for the kick or the bite. Parker's about 40%. Yeah, he's, his legs are racing up. There you go. No matter how much they want the belly pets, there, there are limits to be had. Whee! I had all these hopes for who Will would be when he was a grown man. And it turns out you can do pretty much all of those, even when you marry another man. I remember so clearly before he changed, when he was just a happy little boy. I don't know if he knew how much I loved him when he was growing up. I'm being hard on G-Moms here, but... 
I do really like that they cover this aspect of the story. I think it really, I think it's a really interesting way Good to life take things. goes And accurate. On. I was working in the garden. Things go wild if you leave them too long. I love plants and stuff, but I don't... I don't have the time for a garden. I have so many time-consuming hobbies. That's, I think, one of the things I would like to do if I were able to ditch the day job is take more care of my yard and uh, you know, a nice little garden, put up some fences, make my own private little place. But uh, it's a lot of work. And presently, I like to focus on work that other people Will can appreciate. Will would occasionally send me a postcard from somewhere foreign on his travels. My grandma can actually almost use Facebook. It's kind of neat. Usually somebody points out a post to her, but I've gotten a couple posts from her on Facebook and she's always super cute when she replies. It's just the little things like her pointing out that like um, one time she had uh, my uncle type out the message for her and she pointed that out in the message. <laughs> Just cute like that. Pick out them weeds. Yeah, if farming was like Harvest I'm Moon, still angry I'd at have him, the biggest But I worried ever. too. He was just off somewhere. Before the travel writing became his job. I genuinely wanted to be a farmer for like months. Probably years. Like mul maybe not multiple years, but after Harvest Moon for SNES and the n64 one like if farming was just that simple and you didn't have to have too many crops i would absolutely adore it but of course real life farming is significantly less enjoyable unless you're you know just tending to a little plot in your garden but being self-sufficient like that Go get the door, G moms. What are we doing? I was going to answer it, but snagged my foot in the grass and twisted my ankle. It hurt like blazes, and I lay there feeling like a complete fool. was nothing I could do. I tried to move, but it hurt too much. I called out for help. I heard footsteps around the side of the house. Will had come to visit after coming back from travelling. I had been so cold to him, never reaching out, but that didn't matter to him. It'll be all right. He looked after me anyway. Inside the man he was, I could see for the first time the same kind boy I knew before. I don't claim that I'll understand some of his choices. But I had missed something. Distracted by just one part of him, I missed that he was the kind, strong, loving man I had always wanted him to be. The best sort of man. He was even kind to a fool like me. I'll never forget that. 